Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to yet again another episode of Super Mario World. Last episode we beat Castle 6 and we are going into this sunken ghost ship. And uh, let's see how fantastic this is. This is not that hard. The only thing I remember that was really hard about this was uh, the booze randomly coming out of nowhere. Like it would just reappear, disappear, reappear, disappear. And it's like, oh god, you gotta be literally at the right spot so you don't get hit. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, before we get any further with, with, with talking about this... Oh god, we almost got hit. Um, I need to let you guys know on an update for this series. So, I've had a lot of questions. I thought I stated it in a video. I guess I didn't. Uh, so I, I do apologize. Um, people were wondering if I'm gonna do Star World in, like, every single, like... Like, every single part of Super Mario World. And unfortunately, I cannot due to the time restriction that I have. And if you guys remember my update video, I will be leaving on July 4th. And literally, July 4th is around the corner. You know what I mean? So if I were to do everything, it would probably not. I would probably not finish Super Mario World by the time I leave. And I want to leave. The, I want to leave having this series done. You know what I mean? So it would be really pointless for me to like start you know start this series do all the little things finish the whole game and then eventually figure out that I'm not able to do that because of my time restriction because I'm gonna be gone and then all of a sudden I could be like on the last episode and that episode would come out like a month and a half later you know what I mean so yeah I am gone for like a month and a half I think it might be a month uh, I think it's I was thinking mid-August is when I'm gonna return uh, but it might be earlier than mid-August so uh, I'll let you guys know of course uh, before I go uh, I'll probably have some sort of update video uh, channel update kind of looking through the channel once again and then my plans for you know w when I come back so the sunken ship not that bad um, so let's go in here and that will actually take us to the old Bowser in his Valley of Stuff. So we got Valley of Bowser here. And uh, let's do that. So yeah, I really wish I could. I do apologize. I had some comments uh, on Twitter, YouTube uh, regarding this stuff. And some comments about uh, on Discord regarding it. Uh, so I guess I didn't state it. And uh, I do apologize. So yeah, we are just going to do like a casual Let's Play. Just do all the castles. Finish Bowser. Call it good. Um, if I do have time, if I do have time, which this seems like the series could end a little earlier, um, what I could do is I could try Star World and just, you know, finish some of that stuff at least and uh, make that like, I don't know, like I don't want to call it a separate series, but the same series just, I don't know, I, I might change the thumbnail or just put numbers on it, whatever. Uh, but uh, just so you guys can see Star World 2, I'll have to think about it though because, you know, Star World, if I were to like split everything up, I, I guess I could, but like I, like I said, it's really time consuming. Like the, the time there is really close, so uh, it's hard for me to take any chances uh, so, so I don't mess up anything for when I leave, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of how this series will roll. roll. Uh, I thought I was gonna do Super Mario Bros. 3. I know in my update video I said that I would, you know, do Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, I'm glad I didn't because I probably wouldn't have finished it because I, I got so many, so much stuff going on, you know what I mean? And life got to me, so I'm glad that I kept it one series. I was gonna do two series at once, and uh, just you know, life happened. And I got some stuff to do before I go, so uh, I, I literally had like no time to do. Uh, some extra videos so um, that's why I, it's, it's cool that I got this series going like uh, at least one and uh, th that'll be finished before like when I leave you know what I mean so um, yeah so I'll probably do Super Mario Bros 3 when I come back uh, some off-screen stuff I did if you guys remember the old game well I wouldn't even call it that old but it's a decently modern game I don't know when it came out I forgot uh, but it was Pokemon Emerald, so you guys may know that Rayquaza is actually the front cover of that game. Um, what I've been doing is I've actually been let's playing through that a little bit because I forgot literally everything about that game. So I've tried to look through it and see like what, what, what how this game would work for like a let's play and stuff. And that is a good opportunity and a possibility that you guys will see another Pokemon related 
series on the channel because I, I see a lot of you guys want that a lot of you guys like that so that is something that can definitely be done and uh, I look through the Pokemon Emerald game and it was actually really fun uh, going through that and it uh, didn't really see them seem that hard so it might actually be I don't know this might be a this might be a big one but I think it might be quicker than Pokeball Z and Pokeball Z was Pokeball Z wasn't that bad, but like I had to like speed run through a lot of that. If you guys remember, uh, you know the speed button, all this stuff. I'll, I'll stuff to do that for Emerald as well. Uh, but when I compare both of the games, like I think Emerald is just a little quicker than the Pokeball Z, uh, Dragon Ball Z team training episode that I did. So uh, Pokemon Emerald will probably be one, um, of course, when I come back. So Super Mario Bros. Three. Pokemon Emerald. I should really just talk about this on an update video, uh, but again, just so you guys are aware uh, what the situation was, and you know, these are the series as I had in my mind that I wanted to do. It was just I, I didn't have the time, and uh, unfortunately, I got this trip happening. So, my voice, man, 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 my voice is so weird. Uh, on on some days, man, it, it, it's horrible. So, um, anyways. The voice crack, yeah, that happens. Um, the trip will be fun, okay? The trip is gonna be fun. I can't wait for it. Uh, Bosnia, I've got a lot of my my family there. Uh, it's just, you know, this is where my parents were at. Um, if you guys don't know, there was like a war and stuff uh, during this time period around 1993 to 94. 94 was like when it, when it like ended and stuff. Um, so it, 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 it's like very emotional, you know what I mean? So uh, my parents went through that, uh, they, they left, uh, you know, I've even had family members who stayed during that, it's just, it's crazy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's just it's unreal, so um, let's not be sad here, but uh, I'll be going there, it's going to be really fun. Um, one thing that, that was funny, me and my friend, to Zach, we were talking about it. Uh, is like the pop and stuff. If you guys don't know, the United States likes to add a lot of uh, a lot of uh, corn syrup. So uh, when you buy pop, like let's say Coca-Cola, we'll just take that brand or or Pepsi, even one of those, they've got corn syrup in it. In Europe, where well in Bosnia in particular, uh, they don't have that. Like they don't add that stuff to their drinks. You know what I mean? So um, it tastes way better. Actually, it actually tastes better, and actually, uh, it's not healthy, but it's healthier than what the United States has for pop. So like, if you guys remember, like I don't know if it was Philadelphia or whatever, wh wh whoever it was, is like taxing and pricing pop to be like a lot. When in reality, it's not really that killer as much. It's just the stuff that the United States puts. And um, that's that darn corn syrup, which you don't really need. Like, that's where people are getting really fat is, like, all these added things. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't drank pop in a while, guys. Like, I cut that off. I do, like, minimal exercises. So I exercise at least, you know, 20 to 30 minutes uh, a day. And that will be walking and running. So I do a little bit of everything. And I'm losing like a hell of a, a lot of weight because I'm not drinking pop. And I really think it's because of that corn syrup. Because like when I was in Bosnia and I drank pop, like I would drink almost not every day, but like every other day or so. So it was really common for me and I would not gain weight. And that might have been because I walked a lot and I did a lot of stuff in Bosnia. Like I just traveled and, you know, literally walked like everywhere. Like, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like I didn't gain any weight from that. It was actually, it actually tasted better uh, and uh, all that kind of stuff. And it's like, why does the United States not just do that? Like, look at these other countries who provide products and like these products are like not bannable, stuff like that. And they're actually way healthier than what you guys are having. So, like, when they put these bans and stuff, it's it's kind of crazy. Well, they didn't ban pop. I'm just saying, like, the price. Like, it just skyrocketed in that state. And I feel bad because people love drinks, you know what I mean? So, um, unfortunately, that happened. So, I don't know what's going to end off with that. Uh, so, yeah, y you know, there's a lot of different things that other countries have than the United States. So, if you're someone who lives in the United States, I don't know how Canada works. I guess Canada... I guess Canada would go off by some of the stuff the United States has, but again, if any of you guys live in Canada, you can let me know. 
But yeah, like the, the, that corn syrup and stuff, that's what the United States puts. Again, the pop is still good, but at the same time, the pop is way better in other places and, you know, in Europe and stuff like that where they don't add that, you know. So, it's good to see that some of those drinks I will be having. Uh, uh, of course I will. Of course I will. Uh, uh, when I go there. So I, I'm so excited. You know, it, it's, it's going to be awesome. Again, like, of course, it's going to happen the year of me... Uh, coming back to video strong and you know uploading these you know these gameplays for you guys and the channel is growing and YouTube gaming streaming some twitch streaming stuff like that the cha you know overall everything's been really cool I, I got to meet some more new people um, you know there's people like Terry Lair Paco oh you name it Nintendo addict Ryu car there, there's so many people you know what I mean uh, and mostly all those Streamers that I named they're like Super Mario Maker streamers so and they're really cool people like, they, they, I bond with them quicker than most people you know what I mean so uh, it's it's really cool to find that niche of people and uh, and Oshi as well like Oshi was also someone who asked about the Super Mario World like he was someone who um, he he asked me like are you gonna do the whole let's play and stuff and I really wanted to like again like gaming fanatic that's a cool guy too. Uh, he was the one who asked in the comments, and there's some people on Twitter and stuff, and he's also a video maker, so uh, you guys will see his comments here and there. He's actually commented on, like, most of these episodes, so do appreciate that support, man. Um, and uh, I wish I could, you know, so the time thing, that's that's kind of how, why it happened, and uh, I don't know. So maybe, maybe if I get the time, oh yeah, we don't even need that key, because we're just going to go through that castle and get done with that. Um, and that, actually that key would take us to Star World. That would be like the Star World entrance, I'm pretty sure, so, uh, but, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, again, it's cool doing this, and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll come back strong, and hopefully some of you guys will still be active by the time I'm gone. I mean, it's a month, so it's not that big of a difference. I mean, in 30 days, 31 days, it kind of depends, you know, and then... I get, yeah, I think it's early August they come back. It's either August, early August or mid-August. I haven't checked my ticket at all. Uh, my parents did all that stuff. So, uh, okay, this level is really, really crazy. So let me, let me be careful here. Um, so, you, you know, I, I don't think it'll be that bad. Um, so when I come back, you guys will see those types of series again. If Maybe when I come back as well, there might be another series or a different one on top of that. Like, these are two series that I want to do, but at the same time, I don't know if I'll just do them both or, uh, like, in chronological order or just switch it up and do some other games that I didn't really tell you guys. That'd be bad. Uh, so, I'll probably make some sort of update video or something, you know what I mean? Oh, God, I forgot to jump up here. Okay, there we go. Sick, sick. Okay, let's get this. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Good, 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 good. We're doing well. We're doing well for now. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Pokemon Emerald, Mario Bros. 3. Mario Bros. 3, what I could do is that one will probably be... I, I, I wouldn't say I will do every single level, but it will be like the Mario World. The only difference is Super Mario Bros. 3 is actually a little longer than, um, than Mario World, of course. So... Uh, that will probably be way more episodes, way more, you know, fun, way more craziness that I can add to that series. Uh, Mario World is just, it's Mario World, you know. It's its, it's a little easier than Bros 3 uh, if you compare both games. Oh, God. Okay, let's duck. Uh, if you compare both games, like, Mario World is definitely easier than Bros 3 because you can literally do so much more mechanics in Mario World. And on top of that, like, you've got halfway check marks and stuff. And uh, in Bros 3, you really don't have that much, you know what I mean? So, uh, Bros 3 will be really fun. It's more of a nostalgic game, too. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether to do the really, really classic one or the one that came with uh, Super Mario All-Stars. And uh, I, I currently have the Super Mario All-Stars one because that's how I'm playing Mario World 2, is uh, that, 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 uh, that thing. So... Uh, I, I got Mario World, and then I've got all the Lost Levels stuff, and uh, I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't plan on playing Lost Levels, I'm just telling you. Bros 3 and Mario World is the max, okay? That's the max I'm going to do. Alright, so let's go. 
Oh no, I already got destroyed. Let's get that. Yeah, jump, jump, jump. I I'm so bad with jumping. Oh god, just let me finish him off, please. Oh god. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! I thought it was done. I thought it was done. I, I would have been so pissed. Oh my god, okay. Okay, okay, we're good. Course clear. We're good. Guys, that means Bowser is next episode. This is crazy. Oh man. Thank you. All right, let's toss that thing. He just literally kicked it out of here. Mario has defeated Larry Koopa in castle number seven. All that is left is Bowser's castle where Princess Toadstool is being held. Can Mario rescue her and restore peace to dinosaur land? I think so. I think so. So, that being said, guys, we're going against Bowser next episode. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, if you have comments, questions, or whatever you want to do. I'll see you guys next episode. Take care.